everyone! Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial brought to you by Vitorials. And in this tutorial we are going to create this modern, a very pleasing logo with uh, simple basic shapes uh, in Adobe Illustrator. We are going to grab line segment tool, circles, uh, rectangles and triangle, mix it all together and uh, create this appealing design. And we are going to create this right now. So, go to the file, new, and I'm gonna size it with 90, 20 and 10, 80 and click create. And uh, before we start, I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to uh, increase the row size of my layer. So it's going to get easy for everybody to just see my layer. Next, I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and cover my artboard with a solid dark rectangle and I'm gonna give this very 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 dark gray color and lock this on first layer by clicking on this free space between Able and this chevron icon and last thing I want to assess my rulers by clicking on Ctrl uh, R or Command R and grab one of my rulers here on a new layer and place it like here in the middle of my uh, in the middle of my uh, artboard and then keep it selected so it's red now double click on this uh, move dialog box set the horizontal value to zero and uh, vertical value to minus 410 uh, I'm sorry for simply 410 and click copy to produce this result and uh, this is uh, this will be our guide and I'm gonna log this uh, on my second layer and create a new one so we are ready to go I'm going to start with rounded rectangular tool so grab your the rounded rectangle tool set the width of your rectangle I'm sorry, set the width of your rectangle to 280 pixels, set the height of your rectangle to 560 pixels and set the corner radius to 140 pixels. Next I'm gonna set this uh, rectangle to this white and I want to set the stroke color to white. And uh, then I'm gonna increase the stroke weight to 60 points, like so. Next, I want to grab my scissors tool and get rid of this roof of my rectangle. So I'm gonna slice this in the intersection between my guides and uh, my rectangle and this and select this upper part and backspace get, get it away next I'm gonna select this rectangle and go to op, uh, I'm sorry go to stroke and round the cap now we have something like U shape and last I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool and move one of the dots, select these dots so you can see this dots is fillet and other hollow and move it beneath this right beneath this guide and I'm gonna move this dot to the top with my arrow keys top and down respectively so I have this design and next step I'm gonna select my uh, rectangle, my U shape and I'm gonna produce duplicate of this with Ctrl C, Ctrl F uh, or Command C, Command F on your Mac and then I'm gonna slice a copy right here I'm gonna slice this part, select this part I'm gonna delete it with backspace key I want to give this C6, 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 C6 this gray color. 
and I wanna select this slice, this cube, and Ctrl C, Ctrl F to produce another duplicate. Grab my scissors tool and slice a little part of this duplicate. Just like this. And get rid of this path. And now I want to select this, my second duplicate, second not first, and grab my airdropper tool and sample the white color. So you can see we have something like shadow here. And I think we can slice a little bit more. Boom! We slice more than... So I am happy with this result. Next step I want to grab uh, Assess my polygon tool and uh, click on the my artboard to open the dialog box. And here I want to set the number of sides to three to create a uh, triangle. Swap the fill and stroke by clicking on this uh, icon. And next I want to increase the width of my triangle, holding Alt or Option key and dragging like that, and increase the height like that uh, but before i merge my rectangle and my u shape i want to select all of this uh, design so all of my u shapes and go to object path and offset my path or oh, i'm sorry uh, go to object path and outline strokes so now i have all my strokes outlined without any strokes and I want to place my rectangle like that looks great and last but not least I want to grab my direct selection tool and round the corner of our rectangle now you see the corner here I want to set the corner radius to 3 pixels a really slight very very subtle roundness and then we need to produce a duplicate of this um, rectangle by clicking on ctrl c ctrl b or oh, i'm sorry ctrl c ctrl b give this rectangle this color and with ctrl shift left bracket or command shift left bracket set it to back you can also go to object arrange and send to back keep this duplicate selected as you can see this is my selected gray duplicate on my layers panel and i want to one two three four five six i want to drag it to the bottom with my down arrow key and then i want to Go to transparency panel, change the blending mode to multiply. By the way, if you can't find your transparency panel, you can go to Windows and find it here. Windows transparency. So we change the blending mode to multiply. Here we do not need to change the blending mode because uh, when you blend with white, it simply don't change anything. And uh, we have our U shape, you have our up shape ready to create the P shape. And let's start with our uh, circle. We need to create a circle, we need to grab ellipse tool. Here in our ellipse tool, click on your artboard to open the dialog box, link between width and height of your ellipse. And next we need to set the width of our ellipse to 355 pixels. 355 pixels, click OK, we have a, an ellipse. And now I want to do absolutely the same step that I did with my U-shape. So I want to give it a stroke, set the stroke color to white. And I want to give the stroke weight to 
60 points to produce this result. Next step. We need to grab our uh, line segment tool and draw a line. Start with this anchor. If you have uh, smart guys tune it on, you can hover under, under your are uh, under your ring and you can see this anchor and holding shift key i'm sorry holding shift key start to draw a line and we need the line with the 370 height like so and Last but not least, we need to round the caps of our line, so it's produce this result. But it's not the end. We also need to grab all of them, go to object, path and outline strokes. Now we have our P shape and outline a stroke, we have a ring shape and I want to select my ring and double click on the selection icon to open the move dialog box set the horizontal value to zero and set the vertical value to 40 pixels click copy to produce a copy of this ring and set it downwards now we need to select this uh, descender ctrl c Ctrl F to make a duplicate and then holding shift key hold shift key select both your duplicate of your ring and duplicate of your descender go to your pathfinder panel if you can find your pathfinder panel go to windows pathfinder and then click on this third icon from the left in shape mode intersect to produce this result and you can sample the color from here select this part this intersection and your descender and use the shortcut ctrl shift left bracket to produce the final result so we have a shadow something like shadow here and the last approach maybe the most complicated part of our tutorial is create a, an ellipse create an ellipse with 60 pixels width and height this is the weight of our stroke you can set it to completely different color uh, or you can leave it uh, white it doesn't matter because we need to control y or command y to enter the outline mode Control plus or command plus to scale your artwork. I place it my and I think I place it perfectly. And I need to produce a duplicate here. And I need to scale it. We can change the placement of this circle simply by selecting this duplicate, bigger duplicate, our ring and our circle and go to the shape builder tool no i do not accomplish this task i need to place it absolutely perfect but i do not want to bore you with this stuff and i want to hustle a little bit this part of our tutorial i have done it but i need to produce a duplicate for my shadow with ctrl c ctrl b well it doesn't matter with you can either use a ctrl c ctrl f and i want to drag it to the bottom and place it properly so it perfectly fits I think it, it's okay and two thirds of my circle as you can see even three fourths of my circles intersected with each other 
and I'm good to go. So select your original circle, select this bigger duplicate, select this uh, rim and go to your shape builder tool and produce your design. This is our, this is our desired tube that we need to create the sock. And I want to get rid of this design and uh, leave the outline mode. Well, the last step was uh, complicated and take a lot of time, but for me it's make our design a little bit more interesting. Next step I need to select this tube and control left right bracket to set it on the top of this shadow. So, this is our final result. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and leave a comment if you have some questions. I want to thank you for following to the end. I will come back to you very soon.